Hi everybody, on this episode I visit Akihabara which is one of the major electronics and anime center in Tokyo, Japan. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and open notifications to be informed about new travel videos from all around the world. Akihabara is the best neighborhood in Tokyo to buy the newest gadgets, digital cameras, video games and more, as well as being the home of manga and geek culture. Akihabara is also known as Akiba. Akiba, as it's known to the locals, is a great place to spend the day traveling and sightseeing. Once all about the gadgets and the latest electronics, Akihabara is now an even mix of electrical goods megastores, made cafes and all things anime. The area is an urban temple for worshippers of Japanese subcultures with pop idols and cosplayers. Stroll Akihabara's avenues for a one-of-a-kind cultural experience. You can get to Akihabara station easily on the Jier Yamanota line, Keihin Tohoku line, Sobu line, Tokyo Metro's Hibiya line or via the Scuba Express. From Haneda airport it takes 45 minutes by train. From Narita airport it takes about an hour and a half by train. From Shinjuku station it takes 18 minutes on the JR Sobu line to Akihabara station. From Tokyo station it takes 4 minutes on the JR Yamanota line to Akihabara station. Akihabara, also called Akiba after a former local shrine, is a district in central Tokyo that is famous for its many electronic shops and also has gained recognition as the center of Japan's otaku culture. Many shops and establishments devoted to anime and manga are dispersed among the electronic stores in the district. Akihabara has seen some redevelopment over the past years, which added some large, modern buildings to the mix of small to medium-sized shops and buildings. Most prominent among them is a huge Yodabashi electronics store just next to the station. Akihabara was a major transport hub when Tokyo and Japan's railway system started developing and Akihabara station opened for public transportation around 1925. This opening led to a thriving area for vegetables, fruit and other wholesale merchants as well as a black market. Following World War II, when many soldiers returned to Tokyo and Akihabara, previous engineers and mechanics found themselves out of work. However, a radio that was brought to Akihabara by a student at a nearby engineering school, giving these skilled workers a job and paving the way for Akihabara's prominence in electronics. Chuodori is the main street in Akihabara and once there you can find the main shops between the Akihabara station to the south and the Suahirochi station to the north. The best way to start your adventure around Akihabara is to take the electric town exit to the Akihabara station. The more you dive into the side streets and little known spots, the more likely you are to find shops selling diodes, transistors and similar components. A common theme in the neighborhood is the popularity of manga, comics figurines and costumes have all become common sites in Akihabara. Just like in Harajuku, on the weekend, Akihabara becomes a show itself with the different urban tribes coming together in a fantastic fantasy show in real life. Passing through the streets of Akihabara, you will find women dressed up as maids hanging out advertising for a maid cafes. The Shinjuku-based discount electronics store Giant Yodabashi Camera offers one-stop shopping for computers, games, watches, and cameras and sell tax-free and international models. 
Softmap operates several shops around Akihabara. Most of the shops are specialized in one type of product, such as computers, software, and amusement. Aki specializes in tax-free goods and sells a variety of electronic equipment for overseas use, including cameras, computers, televisions, DVD players, and software. Deluxe offers hobby and game-related products in addition to electronics, souvenirs, and lifestyle goods. Don Quijote is a discount store chain that carries everything from groceries and toys to electronics and high-end fashion goods. Radio Kaikan is one of Akihabara's iconic landmarks and features more than 30 stores selling electronics and other anime-related goods. Super Potato sells all types of video games and video game consoles and specializes in retro systems and games. The current Imperial Palace is located on the former site of Edo Castle, a large park area surrounded by moats and massive stone walls in the center of Tokyo. Hamarikyu Garden was originally built as a feudal lord's Tokyo residence and duck hunting grounds during the Edo period and now visitors can enjoy it as a park with a great landscape. Tsukiji Fish Market is a major tourist attraction for both domestic and overseas visitors in Tokyo, which contains retail markets, restaurants, and associated restaurant supply stores. Kabukicho is a famous entertainment district best known for adult-oriented nightlife and as known as Red Light District of Tokyo. Surrounded by a lush green forest right in the heart of Tokyo, Meiji Jingu Shrine is dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken, who led Japan to become a modernized nation. Ginza is known for being Tokyo's number one upscale shopping district with numerous department stores and international brands located in this area. The Tokyo Tower is a communications and observation tower in the Shiba Koen district of Minato, Tokyo, Japan, built in 1958. Shibuya is the ultimate tourist destination with landmarks such as the iconic Scramble Crossing, fashion, art, shopping experiences and more. As well as being Japan's oldest zoo, the Ueno Zoological Gardens or simply Ueno Zoo has achieved legendary status in Japan for its giant pandas and success at breeding them. Shinjuku City encompasses the buzzing clubs and karaoke rooms of neon-lit East Shinjuku and upscale hotel bars and restaurants in the Sky Sky Pier district. Asakusa retains the vibe of an older Tokyo with traditional craft shops and street food stalls along Nakamise Street near the ancient Sensoji Temple. Team Lab Planets is a digital museum where you walk through the water and a garden where you become one with the flowers, which is located in Toyosu area. From latest electronic gadgets to rare geeky items, you can find all kind of electronics in Akihabara. Akihabara offers some of famous anime characters goods only sold there. As well as maid cafes, there are kawaii maids related goods sold in Akihabara. There are discount stores that carries everything from groceries and toys to electronics and high-end fashion goods. It is the best place to shop some of latest or rare games and figures and they are even fun look on the displays. You can also find wide range of anime and manga related goods including movies, video games, CDs, stationery, software and character goods. From maid cafe to delicious bowl of ramen, here are the best restaurants in Akihabara, Tokyo. Maid Ramen is the largest franchise maid cafes in Japan that has uh, several branches across the country. Kanda area is only a few blocks away from Akihabara area and there are numbers of long-established Japanese restaurants. 
Tonkatsu Japanese pork cutlet is a must try Japanese dish for meat eaters. Although Akihabara is the center of modern culture of Japan, you can also enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine such as tempura dishes. Aoshima Shokudu is a famous regional ramen shop from Niigata Prefecture, serving simple yet flavorful shoyu ramen with the significant soy sauce based soup with a hint of ginger. If you are looking to stay in the heart of Akihabara but with instant and easy access to the rest of Tokyo, GR East Hotel Metz Akihabara is literally meters away from the south exit of Akihabara station. Rem Akihabara is another great option if you are looking to use Akihabara as a base for exploring the area and Tokyo as a whole, located moments away from the Akihabara station. The Akihabara Washington Hotel also has excellent access to Akihabara station, less than a minute away from the station's south exit. The Hotel Rizol Akihabara is just a two-minute walk from Akihabara station on the southern side of the Kanda River. Akihabara is a great place to visit at any time of the year. As a major commercial district, Akihabara's main attractions are open all year round, and there is never a bad time to visit this part of Tokyo. However, there are a few events that take place near Akihabara at certain times of the year that you might want to plan your trip around. On Sundays, Chodori, the main street through the district, is closed to car traffic from 1 pm to 6 pm until 5 from October through March. The Kanda festival takes place in Akihabara and central Tokyo in mid-May in odd-numbered years. The colorful parade begins and ends at the Kanda Moijin Shrine in Akihabara and passes through a huge area of central Tokyo. Akihabara is the otaku capital of Japan and is a great place to spend a few hours whether you are into anime or not. Between the crazily colorful multi-story buildings, the maids playing the streets and the hole-in-wall cafes and restaurants is an experience that you won't forget ever. It is one of the worth visiting locations in Tokyo city to explore the another face of the city. If you like my Akihabara Tokyo Japan video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!